So you're looking to homebrew your virtual Wii and Wii U console. First of all, a couple of things to go over. This probably will not work on your standard Wii console. For that, you'll have to find somewhere else. Number two, this is for educational use only. You should only have ROMs of games you physically own in real life. This is not to be for pirated software in any way, and I am not responsible for anything you do with this software, and I'm also not responsible for any damage you might incur on your console while using the software if you use it improperly. Now that we've got that covered, don't forget, while you're here, visit the links underneath each one of my videos. It helps me out, and it costs you absolutely nothing by using those links. So, go for it. Go click happy. So, on with the video. This is going to be really quick and to the point. I've compiled everything into one little spot. So, first of all, we're going to go for Wii, uh, Wii U firmware 5.52, 5.53, and 5.54 which at the time of this video, 5.5.4 is the newest firmware available for the Wii U. They just recently released it. God forbid, I don't know why they're still updating this thing, but they are. This will let you play NES, Super NES, and GameCube games on your Wii U and Virtual Wii console. The GameCube will play directly from your Wii U. The NES and Super NES will play from the virtual Wii console. So to start out, you want to go to my website, which is located in the links below the video, is bit.ly forward slash 2dgweb. Once you're here, and you can see the actual URL for it is giovannilegend.blogspot.com. Close this other tab here. You'll see a menu across the top. Just go to Affiliates. I've kind of got it hidden a little bit so not just everybody can find it. Scroll down past all my affiliate stuff here. And underneath the Amazon ad, you'll see download Wii U slash VWE Homebrew. Go ahead and click on that. And that will bring you up to my Google Drive where you can just click on download to get the file. Once you have the file, get the actual file pulled up here. We'll have it like this. It'll say Wii-U-Hack, and it's a WinRAR file, or a RAR file, depending on, you know, what program you use. I prefer WinRAR. Go ahead and just extract the files. This could take a moment because it is a uh, rather large file. While this is extracting, feel free to go ahead and browse the West. The, yeah, the West. Um, or Fudd here. <laughs> browse the rest of my website if you want to. Join our Gilded server. You can join me over on twitch.tv for some fun there. Whatever have you. We're about 55% here on the extraction. Like I said, it is a nice large file because we're doing a lot with this one thing here. I, I've seen other people do this and... They split it up into multiple files and tell you, now take, take this file and put it over here, and take this file and put it up here. And I'm not doing all that crap. I'm not going to try to confuse you with bullshit. So, it, you know, if you wouldn't mind leaving a thumbs up on the video, too, since I'm getting straight to the point and not running you around in different directions, telling you to download 200 different things and then extract them to different locations. All right, now that you've got that downloaded... And it's extracted. It'll look like this. You'll have apps, FCE, -G uh, UGX, games, RetroArch, saves, SNEX 9XGX, WADs, and Wii U, and then the rest of these files. Once you have all of those, move them to a, not a USB drive, but you want a micro SD, or not a micro SD, but an SD card, I'm sorry, one that fits inside the front of the Wii U. Make sure that this is formatted. Got mine pulled up right here. Yeah. You can see that's exactly how your file structure is going to look. I've got USB drive in, and I just copied all that folder directly to the root of the drive. But you actually want to make sure that it's formatted to FAT32. 
and I used an 8 gig because that's more than enough for everything. I, I have a ton of games on mine that I own all of in real life, so no worries there. But make sure it's formatted to FAT32 on this drive, and it cannot exceed 32 gigabytes in size. You want to keep your drive under 32 gigs, otherwise the Wii U is not going to recognize it properly. But there are ways to make it do so, but that's for a completely different time, different video. So from here, you should have your USB drive, and you will need a little thumbstick that accepts the SD cards, so you can turn it into a USB drive on your computer, obviously. But you'll have it looking exactly like this. And then you're just going to eject it and insert it in the front of your Wii U with the Wii U still off. I'm actually going to get rid of all of this. Give me just a moment here. Now, I am turning my Wii U on, so it should pop up on screen here any moment. All right. <clears throat> I'll flip this around so you can actually see it on the screen. I've got on my screen here, you can see the Wii virtual menu up there. That's where we're going to head to is the Wii virtual menu in the upper right. Uh, okay, maybe not, if I can get mine to agree with me. I'm going to use TV and gamepad. Give the black screen a moment to load. Jump past your health warning. Now on this screen, once I can get my cursor to freaking agree, come on. You might have a blue homebrew channel and a red one. The red one is the one you're going to want to use because it has the correct format and layout. So click on it. Click start. This thing is arguing with me to no end today just because I'm making a damn video. All right. The USB loader GX is actually going to be for loading your GameCube games. FCE Ultra GX, you can load that up. You can see they load fairly fast. This is all of your NES games. So you can go down through here and we'll just load Super Mario Brothers too. Look at that, loads right up. You can hit your home button. Oh, that's not what I wanted. You can go back to main menu, then exit. So your FCE is for NES games. And go over a page. And then Nintendo is another GameCube loader if you want to use it. And then the SNES, SNES 9XGX, if you load it up, that is for all of your... Super Nintendo games. You can see here, I'll just load Earthworm Jim. And it loaded right up. 
Now, let me show you on our drive exactly where this stuff should be. Back over here, you've got the layout of your whole file structure again. You're going to want to go to the SNES 9X GX folder and then ROMs. This is where you're going to put all your Super Nintendo ROMs at. Just drag them and drop them right in that folder. Same here for FCEU GX. Go in there, go to the ROMs folder, drop all of your Nintendo games in there. Now the GameCube games, you're actually going to drop those in games, but then you make a folder for the game that you actually want it to be called. And these should be in ISO format. So like the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition here that I would have, I would go in here and then for the ISO of the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition, you drop it here and name it game.iso, all in lowercase. Then from any of the uh, menus for the GameCube loader, you should see the folder names actually appear and you just hit those to load the actual game up. And that should honestly be all there is to it. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually forgot one thing with the Wii U. Let's switch back over to that real quick. Oop, and we're back on it. Let's go home. Main menu. Okay. Exit. <clears throat> exit to system menu. And exiting out of menus on there is simple on the Wiimote. Just hit the home button and it'll pop up a menu asking you if you want to exit. We're going to go back to the Wii U menu. Sorry, it is really early where I live when I'm doing this video, so I am just tripping over every word I freaking say this morning. We're going to apparently give my Wii U another week to load the home menu. And when you're here at the bottom of your screen, I'll actually pull it up on here. You can see down at the bottom, you've got the little browser icon, which just looks like a little globe. Tap on that, and that'll bring up your internet browser. At this point, we are off of the Wii Mote and using the actual Wii U gamepad. Now, you're going to want to bookmark a website here. And it is Wii U.console.guide forward slash exploit. I will actually put that down below the video as well so you can have a link to that. But it's going to come up on your screen and it'll have a basic screen. It says 5.5.x exploit. Run homebrew. Homebrew. Yes. My God, I cannot talk this morning, people. Run homebrew launcher. You're just going to tap the run homebrew launcher and then give it a moment to actually load. And you'll see my uh, really uh, <laughs> funky dude there just kind of dazing in and out on you. He's acting just like me this morning. And there you go. There is your Wii U menu. And RetroArch should be the one that you would use to load every Wii U game, although I have not done this myself because I don't own a lot of Wii U games, so I have not used it yet. All I have done is the virtual Wii menu stuff because I own all of those that I have installed, so there you go. There is your Wii U slash virtual Wii console setup for the homebrew. 
Just remember on the virtual weedy, use the red homebrew icon and not the blue one. Otherwise, you're going to get some funky display. Uh, you can honestly delete the blue one if you want to at that point. It doesn't really matter. And again, leave a like on the video if it helped you homebrew your system. If not, I am sorry. It should work perfectly fine. I copied it directly from mine, and you can see mine working here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and if you want to support the channel, you can always use the link below the video to become a full member at any membership level. They are all appreciated, and I will see everybody next time.